I-V-B-N, The Rich, video blog network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great top 10 list of everything and anything video blogs, plus a whole lot more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites. RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 821 in the evening bell at the Massachusetts. It's Monday, June 26, 2017, 8.22. About 75 degrees out right now. Going to be a calm night and clear down to about the upper 50s tomorrow. More of the same weather. And Wednesday as well. This is carbon copy of days. This is perfect summertime weather but don't get used to it because the heat and humidity is going to be coming back in the weekend with numerous thunder showers lots of hummingbirds out this this season and also at least saw six rabbits while doing power walks some news to report on the rvbn news why do 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 players to new Orleans Saints defensive tackle Nick Farley, who is going to miss the entire season due to a heart problem. This could be career threatening, so prayers to him. And Bruins night at Fenway Park is September 12th. And that's about it on news from the RVB and new I do 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 back and flat flash with my third and final video blog subject of the night, which will be about the top ten best dramedies in TV history. But first hear this. Tomorrow on RVBN, three more video blogs for your entertainment. First video blog will be about Southwest Championship Wrestling, which lasted from 1978 through 1985. It was Southwest Championship Wrestling was the first professional wrestling program on the USA Network back in 1982-1983. Second video blog of the day will be about my memories of my graduation party on June 25th. 1995. I did it two days late for the tw for the 22nd anniversary, but with some other business to attend to that day with the video blog. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the top 10 best NBA rivalries of all time. So you can't wait for that. The personality profiles is taking a couple of days off. It will be back better. Then ever, July 1st, the top 10 list will probably go on hiatus around that time as well, but it will be back later on in the month because I always like to rest these things once in a while because to get fresh ideas. And if you want a video blog suggestion, send it to me, private message me. I'm now on Skype, and I'm on Twitter, and Google+. And my email address is rsellasol at hotmail.com. I am back. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about the top 10 best dramedies in TV history. Dramedies is comedy drama. It's a little mix of both and there's been so many of them over the years but these are the most best ones. And here they are. Number 10 on this list of the best dramedies of all time. I Spy, which lasted from 1965 through 1968, starring Bill Cosby and Robert Culp. It was the first time an African-American was a co-star of a major television series. It was on NBC. It was about two spies. It was a lot of you know comedy involved because of Bill Cosby. Number nine on this list of the top ten best Dramedies of all time, Chips, which lasted from 1977 through 1983 on NBC, starring Larry Wilcox and Eric Dextrada and Robert Pine. It was about two California police officers, you know, who were like, who did something crazy and they were demoted and they had comedy elements with Poncha John, which is pretty good. 
number eight on this list of the best TV dramas and T I mean TV dramedies in TV history, Room 22, which lasted from 1969 through 1974, starring Karen, Karen Valentine. It was about an interracial class. It, it was a big hit. Part of a Friday night lineup for ABC included the Brady Bunch, Partridge Family, and Love American Style. Number seven on this list of the top ten best TV dramedies of all time, Ally McBeal, starring Carissa Lockhart. It was about a Boston lawyer, lasted five years on Fox, produced by um, David Kelly, Mr. Michelle Pfeiffer, like Ally was known for short, short skirts and to show off her nice legs. Number six on this list of the top ten best dramedies of all time, The Love Boat, which which lasted from 1977 through 1986, starring Gavin McClellan, Captain Stu Bean, plus starring Bernie Coppell and Fred Grandy and Ted Lane, among others. It was a, a, like, a comedy drama anthology about three sets of stories about people trying to find love. Big hit on ABC and one of Ellen Spelling's best shows. Number five on this list. Of the top ten best dramedies in TV history, Desperate Housewives was lasted from 2004 to, through 2012 starring Eva Longoria, Marsha Cross, Felicia Huffman, Terry Hatcher, Nicholas Sheridan, and... Vanessa Williams, and it was about housewives cheating on their husbands. It's very, very funny. Number four on this list of the top ten best dramedies in TV history, The Dukes of Hazard from 1979 through 1985. It was starring Tom Wopat, John Snyder, and Catherine... Catherine Hickeland, Daisy Dukes, who was awesome and had awesome legs, and it was so, so funny with the car chases. It could be a serious drama as well, so it was a dramedy. Number three on this list of the top ten best TV dramedies of all time, Doogie Howser, M.D. was slasher from 1989 through 1993 on ABC, starring Neil Patrick Harris, about a 16-year-old um, medical doctor. And this was, you know, kind of part comedy, part drama. It was an awesome show. It's on repeats on Antenna TV. Number two on this list. Of the top ten best dramedies of all time, eight is enough, which lasted from 1977 through 1981 on ABC, starting starring Dick Van Patten and Adam Rich. It was a very, very you know, comedy drama, of which was pretty good. Number one on this list of the best dramedies of all time, Moonlighting, which lasted from 1985 through 1989 on ABC, um, between host. Uh, Co-starring Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd. It was two friends becoming lovers, and it was, you know, a good show, even though Sybil and Bruce did not really get along that much. And that, backstage. And that's about it on that. I'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with three more video blogs for your entertainment. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunn guy. Molly Roseball of WCCO accent has nice likes. Elizabeth Hart's also stunning. She's best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome. Amy Linda Church of WPIX Channel on the 11 New York. So to rocking Cougars get the best legs in New York State. Bonnet. Papa Gibbs of ABC 11 Sweet Southern Hacks. The best legs in Wally, North Carolina. Wen Clay of WHD Channel 7 in Boston has the best legs in Boston. And Ali Wooley of WABI Channel 5 in Bangor, Maine is awesome. Best legs in Northern New England. Goodbye.